Hello everyone, welcome, I'm just starting at the right moment. <laughs> um, I thought we'd do it this way round rather than you staring at the Das Boot poster and the collection of uh, Kato models and the rest of it. Uh, and I've put on the video from last last week. Uh, what I was doing this time last week. Oh, this is much early in the morning. But it's also a matter of arriving at uh, Highly. Anyway, welcome, I hope you... For those who went back last week, hope you've had a pleasant return. Um, hope that if you've been back before that, then again you've had a pleasant return and you're a bit settled in now, obviously. A bit more settled in now. So, uh, yes, it's been a bit of a week, hasn't it, for modern railways and railways in general, because it's obviously the West Coast White Rail as well. Um, but uh, I'm not going to you know go through any, any ins and outs or any opinions i have apart from the fact that i think it's very sad what's what's gone on with wally and hatton and all that but i did make a ceremonial last purchase from hatton's and i've got them here I'm not doing the big unboxing or anything you know it's one thing we do have a box to open but uh we'll, we'll go through these quickly first so first up is a little a taxi i should probably take the Plastic band off. Oh, I actually have to see it. The other two I haven't actually opened yet at all. This one I haven't opened either. But yeah, I thought it was pretty nice. Nice item. It made me think of the taxis that you see in Praro. Um, I can't remember what the type actually is. It doesn't say on the label because it's Hatton's own label there. But, uh, yeah, I think it's an Austin or something, but yeah, I thought it was rather nice item anyway. And because the layout, oh, <laughs> the layout's set to be, due to be set in Warmington on sea. Um, I got a couple of military vehicles, which I thought might be good having them on the train or whatever. So you've got uh, General Montgomery's Humber Snipe. Used during the Italian campaign. Built in Coventry, so a local link to us. And actually, what nicely ties into the theme of the Humber Snipe is from the Italian campaign. Uh, known as Old Faithful, by the way, yes, from 42, sorry, not 42, from 42. Is it ties in nicely with this vehicle? Which is an Austin, it's a Tilly, Austin Tilly uh, light truck. Um, and this is in the Malta Stonewall camo, which obviously is a, a link for me as well, uh, being as my grandfather was Maltese. Which we grew up during the war on the island, so there we are, there we go. So I thought those might be fun on a couple of flatbeds. Now, there was a bit of hesitation there with what I just said, and I think what I'm going to do is come on to that next before we get onto the box. And I'll see once we open the box, we'll get onto that because it is a locomotive in here. But um, basically, uh, I mentioned obviously we all know about the end of Engage on the channel rest of it. Well, UK engage. All this stuff still has a place to, to go. And the fact that it came down to a penny tank, largely. The other three did work do work fine. Did work, they do work, they're still here. Um the uh other three work fine. It's just this panny didn't but because I won that slice of the Great Western. Um it's it was a, a bit of a the, the straw that broke the camel's back a bit on that one. But anyway, um, I was speaking to a colleague at work and they mentioned about... Uh, I said, oh, you know, it's a shame, you know. I said, yeah, yes, it is a shame. It would be great to think that it was running in some form, really. And then he suggested, let's I borrow this for the weekend and try it. So I did. And last night I did 
disassembled the pannier again and sprayed it. And this is everything that came out of it. Took quite a lot of gunk out of that. Um, I allowed it to dry. You don't want to get that stuff on the paint. It hasn't attacked the paint as such. It has weakened it though. The woman I was just trying to dab that dry with another another cloth. Um, it there were a couple of spots of green on there, but I've checked the model. It's fine. But yeah, so you want to keep up the paintwork as best you can, or have a Loki you already intend to repaint. You know, it, it's. Something like a, a pannier tank, it's quite easy because they, they weren't, unless you're doing British Railways or London Transport, they weren't really lined. So, um, in, in Great Western Service anyway. So, uh, you know, that's that, that, that wasn't too much of an issue, but fortunately, no need, it's fine. But yes, but not only, you know, so I did all that, let it dry uh, onto that. Didn't take long to dry. And I just set a piece of track and I chose, purposely chose track that I had pulled up from the layout. So, yeah, and I didn't clean it. I left it exactly as it was. So it's not been used for the best part of a week. Not cleaned it. I thought, right, let's just try this. Well, you'll see the video yourself now. So yes, that's super frustrating because um, it's running so well. And also, I'm purposely on non-cleaned track, and yeah, it is a little bit of a well, what do I do now? But anyway, we do have a new load, as I mentioned. Now, I've actually already opened the box and shown it to the camera and everything because it didn't record. I didn't notice it wasn't recording. Banner. <laughs> um, so I'll just quickly show you. It is a Hellion. It is prod number one three o two. Judar 060 ST 1364 in Judar Green. So this is the post war green. There it is. So we'll get it on the track so you can see it properly. Um, which is uh, fine for wartime now, as far as I'm concerned, um, because not everything got repainted black. From what I found, only things needed major work that would have included a repaint anyway were painted black apart from some some stars castles and kings everything was uh they, they were left green anyway but uh yeah so potentially it could have got new lettering but uh not not the anyway let's go over to the track right so here we are track side um, right. So now, if this doesn't move initially, it may not be the loco. I might have to uh, cross my connection to the track. That's something that um, I already know about. Okay, let's put this out of the way. We'll place this on the rails there. Okay. It, move. it should move after having a whistle like that. Right, Seems like it may need, need some running in, so uh, I'll get that underway, but it does work, that's the main thing. Yes, I still can't help it, feeling the decisions have to be made. 
because you come from that with the sound of a real penny in the background. <laughs> sure, just trying to get a bit of drawing in there, but yes. So I need to hoover up all this stuff that I've taken off here anyway. But uh, the other thing I've been working on, I've been doing the Signalbox interior kit from Metcalf. So we've got a little chair there, uh, a rocking chair, a table. And then I've also, I need to paint those. Uh, I've also built and painted the signal levers. Posed them in a way that look, I thought it looked quite interesting. But yes, so that's basically the most of the majority of dates, but it, it just, yeah, I don't know. It feels like a decision, decision needs to be made again. I don't know what you think, dear viewers. Um, I want to try and contact and t talk to more engaged modellers that model steam or have a lot of steam locals in their collection. So, uh, yeah. But I am very, very, very pleased with this. I love those saddle tanks. So that's not a wasted purchase any which way because it's, it's just one of those things I've, I've always wanted to own. People will come, might remember I did actually have one before. But... Uh, yeah, that was a mistake selling it. So I've rectified that, and for a cost of 105, it wasn't awful. There was one on Hatton's, which I thought I was, I was thinking about getting, and then they announced they were closing. I was like, oh, okay. And then it was there before I left work, and I thought I'll get it when I get back. So I wanted to chat to Gary in first, and then when I before I chatted to Gary, I had another quick look at it had gone, but that was actually 119, I think, uh, as opposed to say this one is was actually cheaper so yes i will go and leave the feedback on the ebay account and uh run it in but yes and try and try and talk to some engagers so if you if you are a uk steam outline modeler in n please leave these comments underneath is this is it something worth pursuing if you do have the option for double love or not as the standard four makes so much noise in the background. Anyway, talking of uh, standard four, it's going to be at the Great Central Winter Steam Gala in place of Omaha, which is still banjaxed. Um, so uh, yes, well, I will be there, um, mostly to see the LMY A class, which at one point was shaded at Nuneaton. So uh, yes, we're going to go and see that, and hopefully, I think we are taking a ride behind it, but I'm definitely going to go and see it in early. So. I'll be at Corn and Woodhouse Station. Feel free to say hi. Right, take care all, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.